Hello and welcome to a new video about automation. Last time we talked about the unit automation. Huh? Talked about what is necessary as an example in a hydropower plant, what a unit automation must fulfill. Huh? Now we will do this example a little bit further, but at a higher level. Okay? Our higher level now is the whole plant. We're talking about plant automation. So as I told last, 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 last video, uh, a hydropower plant usually consists of several units. Uh, so there is not only one machine, there are often a lot of machines. Uh, if we are looking at the standard Danube power plant, uh, there are usually, or a lot of them, do have nine machines where the Danube is running through. Okay. So you have not one unit, you have several units. And those several units might also be not from the same type. Sometimes they are, but sometimes not. Because if you plan a big power plant, you maybe do not want to be dependent on one manufacturer. You want to spread. So in the Danube usually there are three, 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 yeah? three from fourth, three from first, three from hundreds, something like this. Yeah? Spread a little bit, like yeah, simply to reduce the risk. Yeah? And sometimes, if there is a historical development, there are even totally different types. Yeah, there's a big one and a small one, and so on. Yeah. Ah. Uh, so there are several units and you know if I'm the operator of, it, of this power plant I do have to fulfill a delivery I have to fulfill I don't know that and that many megawatts I have to deliver how I distribute this load on the different machines it's up to me sometimes eh? A lot of times. Let's call it that this is our assumption. Yeah? So I can distribute the load to the several machines. I can balance them. Yeah? This might be just a load or I might also be dependent on external things. Yeah? Like I, met, uh, I, I mentioned the, the Danube. Yeah? It's a r river runoff river power plant, yeah, they need to process the water which is currently coming. Yeah? In springtime, when the snow is melting in the mountains and so on, there is a lot of water, so we have a lot of water running through the turbines. In winter time, there is usually less water, then depending on the rain. And if I have nine machines, I am operating in less power, if there is no or less water, I'm operating four. If there's full water, I'm operating all nine and so on. And I have to distribute the load to the different machines. See that these loads are equally distributed in a runoff river power plant, for instance. A start is a high stress for the machine. There can be weeks and months of, of operation is not as stressful as a startup. So I also have to consider this. I have then to consider what needs to happen if one unit is in failure. Yeah? The, the, the plant automation has to do this. It has to distribute the power to the available units. So let's say here is the plant automation. And here are the different unit. With, of this unit automation we talked last time. Yeah? Unit one, two, and so on. There might be several units. So the plant automation needs to give commands and get results to the to the units. Yeah? Start and stop commands. There are Set point commands, go to a higher load, yeah. 
select the regime, yeah? maybe it's the unit is in flow control that we can process that and that cubic meters per second. This would be in run of river power plant or it's in power control. Then you say, okay, you want to have, I don't know, 200 megawatts. That would be then a peak power power plant. Yeah? So this is task of the plant automation. Level this. Yeah? It also needs, if one unit is failing to whatever reason, let's say hearing temperature is too high or something like this, yeah, something, so the unit boom, falls off the grid, the plant automation has to start a reserve unit or something like this. Yeah? And there are quite a lot of tasks there. Yeah? And then there are systems which are unique in a power plant. Yeah? For instance, the water reservoir is something like this. The waterways, water reservoir, it is somehow unique. Yeah? Usually you only have one reservoir yeah? and you have one pressure line, one penstock line, and then distribute this in the powerhouse to the different units. Yeah? So the waterways. At the storage facility, so at the peak power plant, you usually have somewhere in the mountain this, this dam and the reservoir and the penstock, and there you have a valve, an intake, intake valve. This needs to be operated by the power plant, yeah, by the plant automation. And of course, of course, there is also there is also a protection, yeah, because here several units are this. Yeah, I've shown this last time. Yeah, this is down the hill. Yeah, there are several units, and of course there is also some sort of differential protection. This means the amount of water rushing in here must be the total amount of water which is coming out here. Okay, because if here is more water running in than coming out, this means I have somewhere a leakage or something like this. There's a break. Yeah? need to be prevented, then I have to close this intake valve. Okay? It's not that easy because usually it's not like that. Usually we have a horizontal line, yeah? then we have something like this and then we go down. Yeah? And here in the water chamber there is there can be water stored or not. Yeah? This has a reason. You will hear this in a different different topic, yeah. what this Wasserschloss, it's called in German, yeah. what the task of this is. Yeah. So there is also a lot of know-how, technology and so on involved. Yeah. So control the waterways. Or for instance, in a, in a runoff river power plant, if, if there is even more, if there is uh, ships running on this, going on this river, yeah. Then, you know, if the power of the whole power plant is falling off the grid to whatever reason, so there is a blackout or something like this, so the power plant needs to be shut down, the units shut down, so they cannot rush the water through the units. Yeah? You cannot just block the river, yeah? because then it will, would fall dry yeah? and the ships would touch the ground, bad, yeah? or a stream, upstream area, yeah, you would simply raise the, the level and the ships would maybe crush into bridges or something like this. Yeah? You see, there is, there are topics, there are topics controlling the waterways. Yeah? So there are usually weirs or something like this. You can open them and bypass the units and so on and run off river power plants. So this is, this is also we get, we put information here, we get information for the differential protection and so on. Waterways. Waterways is one possibility. Yeah. And then there is electrical system, switchyard. Big part. Of course, we're producing electrical power with our power plant. Yeah? So here we have some generators from our unit. They are all equally 
leveled by the plant automation, everything good, yeah. And there is then the transformator, yeah, bringing the mid voltage range to high voltage range. And then what's then? Yeah, then there are the circuit breakers, and then, yeah, then the lines are connected, and then there are the disconnectors here, yeah, and they might be connected to one bus bar, yeah. A bar, they're connected, there might be several bus bars, so we can select to which bus bar we are connecting. And one bus bar is going to Vienna, and the next bus bar is going to wherever, and the bus bar might be coupled here, and so on. So there are switches and things in the switch yard. Yeah? I need to control where my power produced in my power plant is going to, to which line. Yeah? It's not like every generator has a line. There is a line going to the power plant or maybe two lines from two different sides going to the power plant and I have to select. Do I use this line? Do I use this line? Are the lines maybe connected in my switch yard or are they separated? And so on. Yeah, I need to select somehow where my electrical power is going. Yeah? There are a lot of disconnectors and, 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 and circuit breakers and so on. The switch yard, also a big part which needs to be taken care of by the plant automation because there is only one switch yard by power plant. Okay? Electrical system, switch yard. Also somehow electrical system is uh, other, other plant systems, simplify plant systems. For instance, usually, you know, usually there's a small amount of leakage, there is water, a little bit coming through the walls and so on, and this water is running down in some channels and is summarizing in a pond. And you cannot just wait until the pond is filling up, you have to pump this out from time to time. Drainage pumps, plant system, because the water is Sicken, sicken. Also don't know the, the, the English term, sicken. It's, it's, it's the German word, yeah, safteln. <laughs> it's simply small dripping in, yeah? in through the wall, yeah? and then summarizing up. If the whole big dam, there is some quite a water running, and this water is filling a pit, and, and if the pit is almost full, I will pump it up. Uh, drainage system, plant system. There might be an emergency power supply. Yeah? You know, if there is a blackout, I need to get the power back somehow. And if there is a black, there are auxiliaries. Yeah? There are, there are uh, pumps which need to be operated, bearing pumps, uh, hydraulic pumps, cooling water pumps, and so on. Yeah? There is an excitation system, there is the whole control system which needs to be powered up. So a power plant usually have a, a need of power yeah, to simply be operatable. So sometimes or a lot of times there is a generator, diesel generator or something like this, which can supply the power plant. Yeah. Once one unit is running, yeah, the one unit will supply the power plant. And then we start the second unit, third unit, and so on, pack, pack, and then we go to the outside world. And this is then rebuilding the network. Okay. So also these emergency power supplies, they are, it's only once, yeah, the power plant. I have to power up the whole power plant. Yeah? Drainage pumps. Yeah, then there's a firefighting system, for instance. Yeah? Yeah, there's an, an alarming things which are only there once in a power plant. So you see, plant automation does have quite some tasks and they are also interesting. Yeah? And it strongly depends on the type of, of, of power plant. I mentioned to this run of river power plants and the peak power plants and so on. Yeah? There are different circumstances also. Yeah? And this is the plant automation field is interesting also. Yeah? It's, 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 ne it's, it's never the same. Yeah? That's the nice thing about automation. 
Yeah, so this is should give you an impression what plant automation means. So we had the actuators and things in level zero and level one unit automation we talked last time and now we're level two plant automation. Yeah? Next time, next video, we're going about the next level. Yeah? We want to control not only one power plant, we want, we have, let's say we're a big operator, we have several power plants. Yeah? We'll see what things we need to think about there. Yeah? Now we are close to enterprise level then. Yeah, for this time, thank you very much for listening and goodbye.